In this video, I am attempting to ride a delivery scooter that I bought on Facebook Marketplace for £900. Bargain, mate. 1,700 miles from London to Africa. This is part two of the series, so if you haven't watched part one, make sure you do that right now. Link is in the description. So far, I have made it to Lyon in France, and along the way, I have slept in a dark, sketchy forest, eaten snails for the first time in Paris, got my face scrubbed by some kind men, and generally had a mental adventure. You're not going to want to miss out on this episode because it is filled with more wacky shenanigans. So sit back, relax, and let's get into this. Okay, it is a new day, day four of the journey. I'm awake, I've had a shower, I feel fresh, but also I'm definitely very ill. My cold is getting worse. I've got the most stuffed nose I think I've ever had. When you've got a stuffed nose, you realize how much you took breathing through your nose for granted. But regardless, we are going to try and get to Barcelona. It is a seven hour drive. It's about 400 miles. It's sunny there. I've booked a hostel uh, then we can start making our way down the spanish coast through valencia alicante malaga and then gibraltar and then we can cross over to tangia which is the continent of africa so we're gonna get packed up i'm gonna get on the roads <sighs> thank god for editing that would have taken me ages okay and we are back baby Six hours, looking at 416 miles. Let's get it. I'm having a quick croissant break. I've got two very flat croissants. I'm now in the south of France, getting towards Spain. Still got another three and a half hours left. I'm gonna munch my croissant, get back on the roads. Let's do it. My back is going through it heavy. Ah, I'm sitting like this for hours, and that's all I'm doing. Ah. Ah. But before we get into that, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is AG1. AG1 is a comprehensive all-in-one greens powder engineered to fill the nutritional gaps in your diet and support your body's nutritional needs across four pillars of health. Gut health, immune support, energy, and recovery. It's packed with 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food sourced ingredients, combining the perfect amount of micronutrients, absorption, and taste to jumpstart your daily routine. I have genuinely been using this stuff every day for about three months now and it has easily become a part of my daily routine. It takes literally like a minute, maybe a minute. It helps me start off my metabolism and generally just helps me feel great throughout the day. More energy, better brain function. I actually have quite bad indigestion and heartburn often, but genuinely, after I take this, it's helped my heartburn a lot. Say goodbye to all these bloody vitamin pots. One scoop of this, it is so convenient and easy. And if it wasn't convenient enough, they even have travel packs. Look at these bad boys. If you're on the road or you're traveling, slap one of these, you're good for the day. It comes in a small Ziploc packet just like this. Pour it out into your canister, get the shaker, fill it with some water. Literally, boom, quick shake. Just like that. Could not be easier to start off your day with health in mind. AG1 is made in New Zealand in a TGA registered facility. Your health is priceless. So let's create healthy habits to fuel your adventures today with AG1. Go to the link in the description right now to get a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Click the link in the description and get your AG1 today. Back to the video. The world is so big. You don't realize it until you're driving on it. This is getting hard. I'm not even halfway to Africa, and I'm four days in. 
<laughs> Most people out here popping pills, going to raves. I'm popping IBs. just almost killed me there's like a super gust of wind and literally almost took me off I wobbled out of it run that clear yeah we are definitely definitely getting closer to Spain I can feel it it feels Spanish hola como estas mi cumpleaños el 5 de julio yeah we're basically in nearly in Spain hour and a half away a bit more. That mountain is looking incredible though. We're finally seeing mountains and incredible scenes. I'm actually having a nightmare. I tried to get a, a shot of the mountain with the drone, but this wind is just too much. Blew away the drone completely. No matter what I did, I couldn't get it back. I saw it was landing in a service station, a service station over the highway. So I literally ran over the highway, dodging cars, and reconnected. What's weird now is I can't find my GoPro. Where I had it. No GoPro here so far. Praying it's at my bike. If it's not, this video is done. There's nothing I can do. Oh my god. Look at that. I fully dropped it. The bike's there. I must have dropped it running. Video would have been done. Wow. Barcelona! Sunsets and vibes, that's all I care about right now. Eww. I've actually made it to Barcelona, wow. Oh my days. I'm in an actual city again. <sighs> Amazing, man. I've scooted to Barcelona. <laughs> Hola. My guy. <laughs> Guys, we bloody made it. Oh my god. That has been the longest day. Started at like half ten. So ten past nine. Let's go. Um, can I check in? Yes. I'm oh. basically I'm driving a like a scooter from oh. London to Africa. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm making a video. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Hold up. Skate park in the hostel. That's sick, man. Okay, day five. I went out last night. James, <laughs> what happened? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got beat up. We went out last night. 
I'm not gonna lie, it got a bit messy. Run the clip. <laughs> I'm gonna have a chill day in Barca because I love Barcelona and I wanna go to the beach and I wanna give my back a break because my back is killing me. We're just gonna enjoy Barcelona today. Let's go! So, I checked over my drone and it is finessed. So, I have no other option but to go and buy a new one now. So, I'm going to a camera shop Hopefully I can get a drone, and uh, yeah, because I can't do this trip without a drone. <laughs> right guys, I think I've just had the most stressful three hours of my life. I tried to buy a drone, and my bank literally blocked all of my cards. So I was pretty much stranded with no money. Big up my family, because they've helped me out. But yeah, time to go to the beach, have a chill evening, and relax, man. Spend my last evening in Barca. You know, it might spend another day. <laughs> I'm loving it here. What vibes this city has. So beautiful. Bus. Your bag, your bag's open. Do you mean to close? I can close it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Adios. Oh yes. It was so weird that I scooted here, man. And look where I am. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. What an unboxing location. I got the DJI Mini 3. Time to say RIP to the old drone. In with the new. We love it. You're not gonna believe this. So the drone I just purchased because I crashed my other one, it came with this little screwdriver, right? So I thought, you know what? Maybe I can use that screwdriver. Maybe I can repair the broken one. Take off. point has been updated. It works perfectly. Gimbal works. Ah, ah, fucking hell, my life, man. So what do I do with this other drone then? Do I get a refund? I don't know. Okay, I've had a fun day in Barcelona. My voice is completely gone, I'm not gonna lie. The nightlife here is um, probably some of the best I've ever seen in the world, I'm not gonna lie. I uh, I kind of got sucked in a little bit, a little bit. Hello, let's go! But it's time to leave. It's time to get back rolling on the roads. Also, my cold is pretty much gone now, which is solid. Sun's out, vibes are out. Let's get on the roads. Yay. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm having a bit of a nightmare. I just keep losing everything. I lost my AirPods. Ugh, and I just bought them. Literally, I bought them like two weeks ago, maybe. I don't know, I'm just tired, I barely slept. I've lost my AirPods, I keep losing everything. I keep making stupid decisions. I need to get back on track, back focused, back in the game. So that means we need to get a bloody move on. It's 4 p.m. and I haven't left because I've been looking for my AirPods for an hour. I need to get to Valencia. We're gonna send it, I haven't booked any accommodation. I don't know where I'm staying. Fuck it, let's go, we need to get there. Let's do it. Guys, I'm gonna be real. I've never had so many things go wrong. I lost my AirPods. I was trying to move my motorbike. I snapped the one and only key I have for my box, to lock the box. Okay, I've come to a key shop and this amazing woman is trying to make a key for me. Let's see if this works. Let's try it. A ver qué pasa. Muy bien. Yes. Gracias. Yes. Adiós. That is the first dub of two days. Let's go. Mate, 
I've got an entire room to myself in this hostel. I don't think anyone else is staying here tonight. I've got this whole big room. Okay, we're chilling at the hostel. Are we talking? Are we talking? Are we my man here, he's seen the, he's, he's an OG no, fan. What was the first video you saw? Uh, the stadium one. Come on, man. An OG. Hit, hit the this. share button, like, and subscribe. Yes, hype that up. <laughs> It is time to get back on the road. Today we are going to Valencia. I definitely got a bit trapped by Barcelona. I just love this place, man. Such good energy, such good people, so many things to do. But my time has finally come to an end and it is time to get to Valencia. Raise me. <laughs> Look at that ocean! Woo! Yeah, boy! Oh my god. Stunning. I just had a low speed crash. <laughs> I tried to come to a stop and the bike just went out from under me. But that MBN, we good, we good. I hope I got that on the drone. Fuck. Right, so the bike fell over and usually that means the fuel is a bit uh, weird. So, there's a moment of truth. Please, please start. Yes. Let's fucking go. All right, back on the roads. Pulling into Valencia right now. Unreal. Another city, another day, another hostel. New hostel, new city. We love it. Hello. Can I check in? People, it is the next day. We spent a short and sweet night in Valencia. Valencia is a beautiful place. I'm loving these cities in Spain. They're such a vibe, beautiful weather, amazing people. But yeah, right now we're gonna go get some breakfast, a little bit of Taco Bell, and then we are getting on the roads today to Malaga. We're going six and a half hours. Yeah. But guys, once we're in Malaga, that means we are essentially at the southernmost point of Spain, which is Gibraltar, and then we can cross over into Morocco, aka the continent of Africa, which I am very excited for. This has been an extremely fun trip, man. I have actually had so much fun. But guys, without further ado, let's get on the bloody roads, baby. Let's do this.
God, we actually made it to Malaga. We're in Malaga. Oh. Oh my God. We actually made it to Malaga. Can I check in? Uh, Harry Gallagher. I'm not gonna lie, Malaga's popping off on a Saturday. Look at this. <laughs> popping off. Hella beef, hella clubs, hella bars, hella vibe. Malaga's a vibe. I didn't even realize. I thought it was like just a little town. <laughs> Look at the weather in Malaga. <sighs> Would you look at that? A week and a half of traveling and it's bloody raining. It's raining in Malaga for three days and it's raining in Tangier in Morocco for three days. I drive all the way here and it's raining. Regardless, it doesn't take away from the fact that we're getting this done today, guys. Today is the day we make it to the continent of Africa. What a way to end this trip. <laughs> this has been a fucking fun trip. I've had so much fun and I've met some incredible people. I made some incredible memories. And now I can tick off the bucket list and say that I have ridden from London to Africa on a delivery scooter. <sighs> so yeah, guys, without further ado, we're gonna get on the roads. Let's bloody do this. <laughs> this is so mental. We're about to go into our fourth country and onto the continent of Africa. I booked the wrong fucking boat. Fuck. Oh my god, I booked the wrong boat. I booked it from Tangier to Morocco. Right, quickly booking another boat. It is time to board the boat that has taken me to Africa. My God, this has been long, man. Here we go. And this is the moment we will finally be off Spanish land onto a bit of sea. And then we have made it. Three, two, one, boom.
finally see it. That is Morocco. That is Africa. Finally. Here we go, guys. This is the moment of truth. This is the moment we finally touch Africa. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Look at that. Welcome. Hello, boss. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God. We did it. We did it. <laughs> How, how, how is it possible that I've scooted to Africa? I've scooted. <laughs> oh, mate. Look at that sunset as well. What a beautiful time. Got a big bit of customs right now. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about this, but you're not allowed drones in Morocco. So they're scooping my drones until I leave. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm going back to G Gibraltar because I won't be able to get my drone otherwise. Yay! Let's go! We made it, guys. I'm currently standing on the continent of Africa. Who would have thought we went through back pain, illness, cold, hot, rain, wind. There were times where I genuinely wanted to quit. My back was in so much pain for like four or five days. I could barely even ride. But you know this channel, we do not give up and we push through. Four countries, 1,800 miles, two boats, and yet here we are in Africa, guys. This has been an absolute once in a lifetime journey and I'm so glad that I did it. This is what life is about guys and yeah, bloody hell. Oh my God, I can't believe I made it, yes, yes. But yo guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If this video gets 20,000 likes, I will take a pedalo to Africa, just like in this clip right here. We just rode back on holiday in Spain one year. Me and my mate took a pedalo out and we went to Africa. Do you think you could spare us the bullshit for one minute while I try to figure out how not to die at sea? But not only that, I want the actor who plays the infamous Jay Cartwright to come and do it with me. So guys, please tag him. Someone, if you know him, show it to him. If you're watching this, bro, I want you to come with me on this adventure. I think it'd be absolutely hilarious if we actually did it. And then finally, you can genuinely say that you completed it. I'm literally on the side of the road right now. I just had to stop to film this. I don't know where I'm staying tonight. I don't have any phone service. I don't even know where I am. I'm gonna go find somewhere to stay. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, drop a comment, drop a share, show it to your friends. It helps us out in the algorithm. And that is how I'm allowed to do more of these videos. If there's an adventure you've had in your mind that you wanted to do, just go fucking send it. We're gonna die anyway. Guys, I love you so much. Now, I was gonna end the video here, but there was one last thing that I had to do. I'm at my Airbnb in Morocco, and I went to McDonald's, and I met this guy. He's walked here from Mali. He's an asylum seeker. He's escaped his country. He's told me all about his life. He's got a kid back in Mali. Now he's looking for work and can't find work. So, I don't need my bike anymore. And I'm sure he could put it to a lot of better use than me. I think I'm gonna give him the bike, guys. It feels right to me. I'm gonna give him the scooter. Say goodbye to the night scoot. Hopefully it can help this guy, make it easier for him to find a job, just improve his life overall. He's also homeless, so I'm gonna give him all of the camping equipment that's in the bike. It's a very expensive tent, sleeping bag, pillow, all of that stuff. And I'm just gonna let him have it, man. I'm done with it, I don't need it, and I'd rather go to a better home. Do you mind being on camera? It's okay? Yes. How do you like travel? On, you walk, just walk everywhere? I walk everywhere. You walk everywhere? Everywhere, bro. So bro, from uh, Mali, you walked for three months. Three months? Damn. Uh, 
Mali, Mauritania, okay. Morocco. Wow, bro. Okay, can I ask you, this bike, you like this bike? I like it. It's a cool bike. It's a cool bike, bro. Okay. It's yours. <laughs> it's your bike. It's your bike, bro. I'm giving you this bike. Really cool. Yeah, man. I don't need this anymore. Really I don't cool. need it. Yeah, man. You can have it, bro. I don't need it. I'm done. Come on. <laughs> Bro, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. It's okay, bro. Come, come have a look. Oh man, it's okay, bro. You're gonna have travel, you know. You can drive. Bro. Yeah, man, it's yours. That's your bike now. You own this. <laughs> Okay, man. It's okay, bro. You're gonna see your kid again, I promise. You're going to. You got T Max, bro! You got T Max, bro! <laughs> this is yours, bro. You own this shit. It's for me, bro! Yes, yes! <laughs> bro, it's love, honestly. I want you to have. I don't know, maybe this can help you in your life, you know? And get. Go to where you need to go. I don't need it anymore. I'm done with it. I'm going back to London. And then it's yours, bro. <laughs> it goes. Uh, it's for me, bro. Yeah, man. Believe it. It's real. It's for me. You, bro. You. It's your your bike. This is you now. <laughs> Yo, bro. Let's go, man. Yo. Okay. I'm going to my. I'm going to see my bro. Yeah, man. Yes. You're a great person. Okay. But I want you to use this to grow. You know. Take this. Make money. Go see your bambino. Ooh, that's fine. Everything. Nice it's okay, man. It's okay, bro. No problem. Guys, love. Get drive safe. You know. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> Safely, safe. Goodbye to the night, Scoot. Yeah. Goodbye, guys. Bro. Good night. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> and there she goes. The Scoot is gone. Wow, man, he was so grateful. That was so cool. I hope that can help him change his life for the better. Hopefully he can get some work, do some Uber Eats, get some money, and then get his papers, and then go see his kids. That's what matters, family. <laughs> <laughs>